Here is a demo of my, encycl my audio encyclopedia. It's something that uh, I would like to get going one day. I want to make like a map of everything that exists, um, like a visual map of it, but I want to also make it um, an audio encyclopedia because of um, uh, um, multitasking. You can go out and ride your bike on these big bike, bike uh, tours or be in traffic or stuck in lines or having a job where you're supposed to just watch people or something and you don't have anything to do so you can just put on the earphones and listen to the audio encyclopedia so I have it divided in between food, formal sciences, history, human body, humanities, life, natural sciences, professions and applied sciences, social sciences and new age. Uh, new age is like uh, different people who I got um, and so of course I'll get their permission to be able to download it but I, I created all of this and it was all ready to go but then I power took it away from me um, but yeah so you can't download any of these now and I won't like activate it again until uh, of course I get these people's permission to have the audio encyclopedia but it's the best way to get information you know just click right click yeah the Ranty book here you just click right click and then maybe I still have some of these let's see I don't think I took everything away but yeah I took all that away though you just do right click and then um, and then you get it down. And I also, as I also have like YouTube. I took YouTube and I turned them into audio, so you can listen to them. Um, and uh, because like I watch YouTube videos all day long, but I never listen to them. Or I mean, I listen to them, but I never watch them because I'm busy working on my computer. So you can, you don't have to have internet connection. You can just hit get right click and then download it all, and then you can go on a ride or a run or row your boat around the world or you know be a hermit in the middle of nowhere and still be still educate yourself because mp3 players don't take much electricity at all as you know a small little portable solar panel will charge those things up just good so so in food I have a divided in fruit vegetables herbs seeds and vegetables because I have vegetables written twice because I'm loopy and I wonder why these are different sizes these are should be different um, Maybe because I made it with another computer and this has another browser. But anyways, fruit is berries, true berries, pseudo berries, and these are I, this is literally everything. So this is like a good map, you know. I mean, don't look at this now as being an audio encyclopedia, but a map of everything that exists. Out of all the fruit, this is all the fruit that exists. You have the true berries, and then you have pseudo berries. Um, pseudo berries are, um, I guess, um, like the boysenberries. They're like mixed berries from genetic engineering. I think. I don't really know. I'll definitely look into it. But these are all the berries. You think maybe there's hundreds of berries? No. But a lot of foods did go extinct. Like there were there were fruits that went extinct um, in the New World in America that don't exist anymore from all of our uh, grazing of cattle, eating all of it. Um, when we first arrived in the New World, we could smell flowers for miles out, and there were flocks of birds flying around for miles out. And the 14 foot mountain, thousand foot mountains were covered in big wildflowers and all these different bright colors until they brought the sheep there to graze it all away and huge like armies of of birds flying everywhere that would totally block out the sun. And, but anyways, this is what we have left. This is what we have now. So genetic engineering creating new 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 plants, maybe that's a cool thing because then you can make new create new plants to have a new um, biodiversity. But these are the true berries and then we have other berries. I don't know why it's called other berries, but I got this off of Wikipedia, so I'm just following Wikipedia's rules, and I will eventually explain what these are. But fruits of, of Asian origin, these are all of them. Cacti and other succulents, fruits of Australian origin. I guess I don't know why I have any of those, but fruits of Australian, fruits of North America. These are the fruits of North American origin. I guess I never got around to doing the cacti and other succulents, but those are all the North American ones. Um, herbaceous annual fruits, um, accessory fruits, I don't know what that is, melons and other, well accessory fruits are fruits you can't eat but you can just look at I guess but I don't have them any listed there. But melons and other members of the Cucubiricataio Sol Solanacaea family. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know where these are from but that's what those are. There's three of them, cantaloupe, sugar melon, winter melon, and then Mediterranean subtropical fruits, key lime, lemon, lime, orange fruit, orange yellow, Persian lime, and then you have tropical fruits, and then you have unsorted fruits, like sorted fruits where they're like, what? I don't know what they are. Banana, okay, well it's just the fruit, weird fruit banana. And the bitter melon, palm, pomegranate, and pomelo. 
Pomelo means um, grapefruit in Spanish. Ro Rosacrea family. So all of these are in the Rosacrea family. So I'll, I should include like explaining what those are. But that's fruit. Those are all the fruits, man. Those are all the fruits in the world. Vegetables. Well, how many vegetables are in the world? What are all the vegetables? And I also have it timed. Like if you wanted to listen, if you wanted to find out what all the bulb and stem vegetables in the world are, well, you need to have 97 megabytes free on your MP3 player. It's, there's 14 different um, vegetables. And it'll take you an hour and 45 minutes to find out everything there is to know, according to w everything that Wikipedia knows. So I guess everything that's uh, worthy of knowing about all of the bulb and stem vegetables. Um, so asparagus is one of those. So do 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 do. Onion is, and so you can see which fruits are related to which fruits. And then these are all the sea vegetables, and these are all the fruit and flowering vegetables, and all of the leafy vegetables. There's lots of leafy vegetables. And these are all the roof, or, roof and tuberosis vegetables. So it's interesting to know that all of the vegetables in the world, you can see them all on the same page at the same time. You know, it's like you can see every single day of the year on one page at the same time, as you, if you saw my uh, calendar page. So, um, you know, stuff is um, interestingly, coincidentally, uh, fits all on, on in a computer screen. The computer screen is the all-knowing. You can see everything in a computer screen. Uh -huh. So here's all the herbs. All the different herbs. And so they don't have herbs divided into different kinds of herbs, but these are them. Lots of different herbs. Ooh. But, you know, most of the herbs, um, there's no Wikipedia article about them. There's no link on these blacks. So it's just the herb, but there's really nothing, nobody knows anything about ginger, for example. I don't know, you know, or maybe I don't have the uh, Wikipedia article of it because I know there's got to be something about ginger, but these are all the herbs, and um, so there's lots of them, and then seeds, let's see how many different kinds of seeds in the world there are, well grain, seeds are grain, and uh, this, this is all the different kinds of seeds, you have grain, oh well, there's different kinds of seeds, you have grain, nuts, and yeah, grain and nuts are the two different kinds of seeds, so. Um, grain. This is grain. Um, there's lots of different kinds of grain, as you can see. Lemon is a grain. Well, I guess you have a uh, lemon from the lemon plant or the lemon seed or the lemon a tree. You can use the seed as a grain and eat it. And then nuts. Look at all the different kinds of nuts. I didn't know there were this many kind of nuts. My Lord and Savior. Whoa. And then you have nuts divided into different kinds of nuts. You have potted vegetables, which are called beans. And then you have uh, beans that need cooking. And uh, so nut-like, gossam sperm, gymnosperm seeds, monkey puzzle, ooh, interesting, cycads, paw pucoderm. So those are all the nuts. And then vegetables. Oh, wait, we already did vegetables. For some reason, I have it twice. I thought I, I could have sworn I finished this entire site, and then I look at it, and it's like halfway done. Okay, so formal sciences. Oh, yeah, and also, you know, you could have clicked in and seen all these alone, but, or you could click on another page, and you can see all of the vegetables, all of the food on one page. This is all the food that you have on one page. So either way, you want to look at it. Okay, so formal sciences, like I said, you can have all the formal sciences. Boom, here we are. All the formal sci sciences that you can look at all of them, and you can know there's 82 different kinds of computer sciences, 40 different kinds of logic, 55 different kinds of mathematics. I didn't know there's that many kinds. 31 different kinds of statistics, 38 different kinds of system science. Um, so there's 378. I don't know how many. I should figure out how many megabytes worth of uh, information uh, corresponds to how much time it is. Because it could be like, you know, this many hours uh, worth of information about system science. But it's 378 megabytes of system science, which is the biggest. Oh, no, mathematics. There's 1.08 gigabytes worth of uh, talking done on mathematics. And then followed, but even more, oh, computer science is 1.13 gigabytes of information on computer science, followed by mathematics, followed by 378 of system science, followed by 295 of, of statistics. Oh, but I guess logic is the third biggest, 200, 734, so, whoa, that's a lot. 
or you can just look at them uh, individually in computer science. So there's uh, lots, you can see all the different kind of computer sciences right here together in one page. Um, so, but unfortunately you can't get the, I have the uh, Wikipedia MP3 files of these on my computer, on my external hard drive. So one day I'll, um, yeah, we'll figure it out. But anyways, history. Here, let's look at these all individually. I like looking at Angela Joe. There's all logic, contingency, group representation, recursive theory, 40, 40 different kinds of logic. Let's see if we can get all the mathematic. All the, there's all the kinds of mathematics. Um, yikes. <laughs> People think of all sorts of stuff. See, that's what happens when you put everybody's brains together and you let everybody think. You can just come up with so much information, you know. So the opposing of that is if you don't let anybody think, well, you're not going to come up with any education information, are you? So you have to allow people to be free, say whatever they want, free speech. Statistics, those are all different kinds of statistics. Statistic theory, statistics, stepwise regression, and then system science. Um, Okay, systems therapy, system analytics, systems immunology, system psychology. Well, ah, okay, so history. History is my favorite subject. History is the most interesting of the subjects. History is just really groovy. I like history. So, history. Um, so, yeah, it's too much to even look at here. So many different things to think about in history. It just blows your mind. But if you wanted to compare all of it, by the way, all the different subjects, you know, like empires is 134 different empires at 3.76 gigabytes, but uh, 1.92 gigabytes is just Roman emperors, 106 different of them. History of, re of regions, 874 megabytes, 27 different regions of, the, of, you, you know, of uh, Wikipedia having history of them. Inventions, 8.27 gigabytes. So inventions is the biggest. There's 359 different big inventions, um, 8.27 gigabytes of inventions. Oh yeah, because it takes up two of these. So, um, so you know, I mean, you could, you could, you could row around the world to be stranded on an on an island, and if you had all this on your computer, which is about 160 gigabytes, you could uh, learn everything. You'd be like Arnold Schwarzenegger from that movie where he was really smart because he just spent his entire life reading books, you know. But you can spend your entire life working out like Arnold Schwarzenegger, or rowing a boat around the world, or doing stuff and uh, listening to this at the same time. Because if it's interesting, you will uh, remember all of it. So the ages, we have the age of discovery, enlightenment, axial bronze, cold war, copper, dark, information, mesolithic, pre-Columbian space, blah, 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 and there's even more. And eventually I'll put them up. Creation myths, history. You have, uh, these are all the different creation myths that I have on my website actually in a uh, written form. I have all of these and I, and I might still have them in uh, downloadable form, in audio form. I think I may have spared the creation myths. I know I spared the Mahabharata. You can download the Mahabharata still on my site and I'll prove it to you right now. It's Omega Double. So this is like the sixth hour of the third book of the Mahabharata. And I'm doggy style downloading it right now. You see, you dog, you double doggy dog dog. See, see, 13.17 meg. So yeah, and maybe even on the um, on any of these other Bibles, but whatever. These are all the Bibles. The Mah and you can you can actually compare because this divides it up in terms of hours. Like that's an hour, and that's an hour, and that's an hour. So the Mahabharata is 237 hours. That's 237. This is 237 right here. There's 237 numbers in here right now. So that's how big the Mahabharata is. Um, so the Mahabharata is the biggest book, as you can see. The Vedas are giant, as you can see. The Buddhist Bible is really big, as you can see. The Tipitaka. You know what? Fucking Tipitaka, dude. That disappeared off my computer, and there's no fucking trace of it. Oh, fuck, and I had to take it off of my server as well, so Tipitaka is gone, and it was really big too, oh well, well that's not an entire, oh whoops, that's not an entire, um, no oh, wait, I was on Bibles, god damn it, I, somehow I got myself screwed around, that was on um, Creation Myths, Tipitaka, um, those were just the different um, chapters that I, because there were, on, each chapter was a different page, so that's not how big the Tipitaka is, each one of these is an entire hour, but that's the Mar Mahabharata. Same thing with the Christian, you know, I just have them divided into chapters here, but so I guess you can't really compare exactly how big they are, but you can see how big the Mahabharata is. 
In the Middle East, he teaches the Book of the Dead, he teaches Legend of the Gods, the uh, Epic of Gilgamesh, Mesopotamian, Babylon, and I already did the, a page about the creation myths, though. So, in Greek and all that, for some reason. And then the Americas, you have some Bibles, the Pope of the Lincoln Bible, or the two. So, I don't know, I guess the Aztecs didn't have one. Or, or the Spanish burnt it all. So then all of the empires, um, well, these are all the empires, lots of them, huh? As opposed to a kingdom, a kingdom is just a place your 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 domain, but an empire is where your kingdom takes over another kingdom, and then events in history. Um, these are all the big events in history. Um, 17th century philosophy, behavioral modernity, control of personal. French Revolution was a big one. Industrial Revolution, origin of domestic dogs, scientific revolution. There's some more, but those were the main ones. Um, history. Well, I guess I have history mixed in there. It's kind of half-baked. My whole site is half-baked. History of regions, um, off of on um, Wikipedia. These are all the history of the regions, Eurasia. So, um, history of subjects. There's that's also a, uh, a subject. History of cultural, uh, culture of diplomat, diplomatic, culture of ethno history, labor, and then inventions. I included that in history. Um, this is the page of all the different inventions. The big, the biggest of inventions. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a lot of cool stuff, but but uh, I got, I think I got that off. Of, um, can't remember what site I got that off of. But other arch, ancient history, archaeo, archaeo Homo sapiens, and stuff that I didn't like um, put in. And then the Roman emperors I have um, in terms of order. This is the order. One, two, three, four, fifth of them. So you can click, listen to him, click, listen to him. And it's even organized that way on your computer. You can put all these in one folder, and this is, this is one, two, three. So you can just click playlist and just plays one after the other. And you can learn everything about the Roman Empire through the emperors. And that's them right there. And then all of the wars, uh, or big wars. There have been hundreds of wars, but. Eventually, I'd like to plug these into my timeline, and then you can just download it straight off my timeline, and then I'll eventually create a lot more files. Those are all the glands. A lot more files from the timeline. Um, hormones. Lots of different kinds of hormones. <laughs> that keep that tell your body what to do. Body's a very complex machine, isn't it? These are all the different illnesses. Medicine. Um, well, I guess I haven't um, con collected the, the, the illnesses yet. Uh, micro things. Um, hmm, don't know what that is. Organs. These are all the different organs in your body. This is them. Um, Just a little list of them. You can find everything out about those. And then humanity is, is a subject. Um, let's see, I think humanities, yes, yeah, consists of language and, and linguistics, um, uh, literature, philosophy, religion, visual arts. And that's humanities. And uh, so let's see, religion is the biggest, followed by literature, followed very closely by philosophy, followed by languages and linguistics, followed by visual arts. So, um, and languages and linguistics, what does that con consist of? Um, well, there's 25 different kinds of languages and linguistics. Applied morphology, processing, new Englishes. Um, what kind of different kinds of literature are there? Um, hmm. Tragedy, genre, tragedy, comedy, verse. I like to put these onto my, uh, my timeline. Plug these onto my timeline later. But, um, uh, performing arts. That link does not go. Hopefully it's still on the server. If the link doesn't go, my experience is it doesn't even exist on the server. Like something fucking happened to it. Whatever. This is all the different kinds of philosophy. You have philosophy of economics, uh, education, engineering, history, language, music, perception, physics, psychology, religion, science, you know, applied ethics, deconstruction, da 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 da. And they all have a timeline. They're all invented at a certain time. 
religion. Here's all the different kinds of religion that have a really long thing written about them. And then visual arts is another thing in humanities. Um, and these are all the things in visual arts, painting, drawing, photography, printmaking, sculpture. So yeah, so this is all history. This is also humani humanities, I guess, is like communications of, between people. And then history is all everything that happens. Formal science is stuff that, you know, doing experiments and stuff. So then I have life. Life is a really good one, dude. Oh, and I don't have a page for it. Life is all the animals in the world, dude. Let, let's look at this. This is really cool. These are all the different amphibians. These are all the different amphibians. If you want to know everything about the amphibians, you would just listen to that. And then arachnids, you know, like um, the tarantula spider. These are all the different kinds of arachnids. Um, why in the hell do I not have tarantula up here? Well, I'll have to get back with that later, I guess. That's bizarre. Okay, so, and then you have all the different kinds of birds. Well, let's see. Those are all the birds right there. That's all of them. Those are them. And then these are the soaring birds right here. These are the ones that um, that uh, have big wings and they can fly without flapping their wings. The big daddies that eat the other birds. But that's them. That's not like so many birds, is it? You know, we got to take care of our... Uh, our world, don't we? Don't you? Would you say? Um, okay. Oh no, canines. Oh well, I hope the page is on the internet. I sure do. Dinosaurs. These are all. The, uh oh, why does this take up more than a more than the thing? Whatever. These are all the different kinds of dinosaurs, dude. This is them. Well, they have a family of them, but that's basically the same dinosaur, and then there's all sorts of different orders of them. But And then these are the Terrapoda dinosaurs, um, the ones that run around like chickens, the Saracetia, the order of the Skincincia, the order Saracusia, or whatever you call it. And then domesticated animals. These are all the domesticated animals. These are all the different kind of dogs. You have one kind of wild dog, the gray wolf. Um, but these are all the domestic you know, horse, muskox, family deer. So see, this kind of can be like a, like a map. I like to make it really pretty and turn it into a map. Felines, um, Okanox, cheetah, Chinese mountain cat, leopard, Onkin, Onsilla. Well, there's lots of different kind of felines. I'm a little, I'm kind of surprised. And then fish. There's lots of different kinds of fish. Look at all the different kinds of fish. Look how far down that goes. Meow. Oops. You have order Hexaphineus, and that's the family of Clanopagixtinae, genus Clanopherasilis, family Hexaginae, order, family, and genus. So the order and then the family and the genus. I'd like to figure out the uh, the, the map of how the, all that works, order, different between order, family, and genus. But as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of fish. And then the insects, look at all the different kinds of insects. And these are all the edible insects, insects that people eat, huh? Interesting, huh? Yep, so those are all the insects, a whole bunch of them around the world. But maybe not a whole lot of them if you can see them all on the same page. And then marsupials, bandicoot, bilby, dicer, they're, from, they're the ones that have the babies inside of the pouches. And there's lots of them, huh? You think, oh, it was just the koala and the... Uh, and the kangaroo, but no, you have a lot of them. And then Mustelidae, um, African clawless otter. These are like the weasels. Lots of different kinds of weasels, aren't there? Badger is a weasel. Asian badger, Mustelidae, Mustelidae, weasel, wolverine, strip pole cat. So they, these things are kind of like halfway between a cat and like a, well, beaver. I don't know. Beaver is its own thing. There's lots of different kinds of animals, aren't there? These are other kinds of animals, worms and llama, just like animals that are all mink, animals that really aren't related to anything else. It's just kind of one kind of that animal, and then that's it. So, weird animals and primates. How many different kind of primates are there? I'm going to guess about a dozen. Oh, it's pretty close, about 20. Humans a primate, did you know? Homo erectus, that's the pre-human. Lemur, marmoset, monkey, tarsier, ape, eye, eye. Yeah, gorilla. But yeah, there's lots of them. Homenidae. 
they still they're still living around reptiles how many different kind of reptiles we got oh my god there's so many different kind of reptiles look how many different kind of crocodilla we have we have the alligator black caiman broad snouted caiman crocodile crocodilia crobius dwarf caiman and then there's the snephidilia the tour tour i don't even know what that is and then squamata means snakes and these are all the different kind of snakes you have um Oh, and unfortunately, I think I have the scientific term, so I don't. That's why we don't see like we see python here, but we don't see like boa constrictor. Uh, oh, boa die, I think, is the boa constrictor. So lizards. Look at all the different kind of lizards. Most of the reptiles are lizards. You have a little, few crocodiles. To a tour, maybe that's turtle. A few snakes, but then the rest of it's just lizards. The turtles aren't a reptile. I think the turtles are something else. I think that's why it's not on here, but isn't that crazy how there's so many different kinds of uh, kinds of lizards? Trippy, huh? And then rodents. How many different kind of rodents are there? Oh, not too many. Did you know the gopher is a rodent? Yeah. So there's a difference between like a gopher and say a weasel, because a weasel is another plant, another family related to the the badger. But the beaver, the beaver is a rodent, even though it's a big. Yeah. Do you know the beaver is not a weasel? It's a rodent. These things bite on, they're like vegetarian, I guess, type of animals. Hamster, mouse, newt. Hamsters are cute. Squirrels, porcupines. So there's not that many rodents. You know, a lot more uh, kinds of lizards than rodents. Testuidine turtles. So a turtle is not a reptile. It's a testuidine. And these are all the different kinds of turtles that there are. Tortoise. Isn't that cute how many there are? So ungulates. Bactrian camel, camel cat, cattle. Chevrotarian, even toad, ungulate, hippopotamus. They have lots of different kinds of am uh, ungulates. Those are the animals, the hooved animals, the animals that you can use to beast the burden to uh, do your bidding. And then these are the vertebrate animals. Everything of vertebrate dinosaurs. Those are all the dinosaurs, and I have it all organized like that. Okay, so sciences. All different kinds of sciences. Let's see, we have astronomy. Oh my god, look at all the different the different things in astronomy. Whoa, my God, you got mag magnetohydrodynamics. Okay, so I guess I have the sciences and the scientific, the, uh, the uh, astronomical objects on the same page. So maybe I'll change that, but the scanner, horn star, supergiant, hypernova. I'll, I'll, I'll divide that up later, but um, astronomy is a big subject, as you can see. Biology. There's lots of different subjects in biology, bioinformatics, genetic disorder, neuroanatomy, and then chemistry. We have chemistry, all the different kind of chemical uh, chemistry uh, subjects in here. And look at all the different kind of sciences we have. Whoa. Astronomy is like the biggest one. As you can see, it's gigantica. And then you have cross disciplines. Did you know that you have cross scientific, like astrochemistry? The mix between astronomy and chemistry, you have to learn both of them and then become a good at both of them. Astrophysics, biochemistry, biophysics, complex systems, geochemistry, geology and chemistry. But there's not that many of them, though, as you can see. And then there's the solar system. Everything in our solar system. These are all the things in our solar system, uh, you know, including the uh, the moons. There's lots of moons that are bigger than planets, you know. Pluto's dwarfed by a whole bunch of moons. I think our moon even dwarfs Pluto. Zoology, acorn worm, species. Well, this is just how I, a genius. This is just different things of, of, of astro zoology, how they divide it up. Which we'll look at it later. Applied professions and applied sciences. These are all the different professions and applied sciences. Like agriculture has all these different kinds of agri uh, um, subjects: food culture, horticulture, or oenology, pomology, VT culture, architecture and design, game design, textile, toy. See, maybe we can even look at it all divided up if you look at the page here. Yeah, professions and applied sciences. So, divinity has 19. Business has 20. Um, Business is pretty big. So you can see how big they are compared to each other, the different subjects. Civil law, contract law, equity and trust law is under the law. Military science, you have like military science is a pretty big one with all the different kinds of sciences. Engineering is big. Education is big. 
distance, education, educational leadership, educational technology, family and consumer science. Then you have journalism, you have divinity, human physical performance and recreation, business, health sciences, transportation, agriculture, architectural and design, environmental science. So there's lots of kinds of laws. Like I'm in criminal law, I'm in administrative law. Maybe somebody can be in everything. Can make it a little bit more interesting. But uh, if you wanted to look at it all by itself, that's business. That's all the different kinds of businesses. Oh, let's move ahead. Social sciences. What are all the different kinds of social sciences? Well, here we are. Geography. Countries. So I have, I have the audio file of all the different countries. I just have to get the, uh, the data. To I wish I could upload it someplace in case my hard drive dies. I do have it on my mom's hard drive, but hopefully her hard drive doesn't die either, or else it's a month and a half of solid work down the drain for me. So economics is a pretty big subject. Psychology is a subject. Gender and sexuality is a big subject. And social sciences, archaeology, area studies, cultural and ethnic studies. Political science, ethnic groups. Oh, look at all the different ethnic groups, dude. Yeah, there's lots of different ethnic groups. Uh, um, anthropology, anthrop, anth, an, anthropology, oof. So, sociology, sociology, all the different kinds of sociology. Anyways, social sciences is a pretty big one, ain't it? Uh -huh. So if you wanted to look at all the different kinds of countries, for example, um, um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Geography? Would that be under geography? No, this is just geography. There's lots of different kinds of geography. You can barely fit geography in one page. For some reason, I, have, I don't have countries mixed in here. But, uh, and then New Age, too. I think I already did. I already did the tour of that. But I have Ra, Bashar, all the different. These are all the different Bashar videos on YouTube. Abundance, accelerating, easy contact, change corpus. So you can use this as kind of like a reference. You know, like if you wanted to see it on YouTube, just just copy that and then paste it onto YouTube, and hopefully it'll still be up there. These are all the different channelers, so you can you know YouTube these guys because I can't share it here. These are all the ar interesting articles I have that I have copied on my computer from Project Camelot. Maybe we can do a trade because I can give it to you. I do have my external hard drive because I could trade it. I, I could give you any of this stuff, and uh, maybe you can give me something in return. Uh, some kind of one person was going to give me some kind of like had a whole bunch of history stuff. So that'd be cool to have that, or like alternative history or something like that. So um, yeah, so I even have it divided. So you have channels, YouTube stuff, Bashar, Ra, books and articles like stuff that I turned from books into uh, into audio. Project Camelot interviews, secret government projects, Durantia book. Boom, it was really big. Coast to coast interviews, although I did a couple of them, just, just like really interesting ones. I didn't want to like do too many because for 10 bucks a month you can re download anything off coast to coast the way that I do, and they're the only people who do that, and I think that's really cool. Ascension presentations. So yeah, Greg Braden, that's what he does. He does all the Ascension stuff. Indigo Children, Lisa Renee has a good one, uh, New Age History, True History of Atlantis. This is somebody talking about the history of Atlantis, dude. I don't know where they got the information from, but they're talking about, you know, where they came from, why they fought, what happened, and it's really cool, man. The Sons of Belial or something like that. The Essence Seen Gospels of Peace. And so that's basically what I have on the New Age. So that's my audio encyclopedia, which one day I'd like to put on my website. Um, and I do have me ta talking about it, like... I have all the Bibles on my site. That's going to be on my audio encyclopedia. You should get natural later reader so you can learn off of it. There's me just talking about my audio encyclopedia for four videos. Uh, give me money, rich boy, yeah, man, in case I need to pay. Because you have to pay like 40, 50 bucks a month. 450 bucks a month to have unlimited gigas. So I might not, um, or maybe I can get sponsored by iPower. Natural reader uh, got me into writing again. I guess because I listened to, because I wanted to natural readify. I wanted to turn my stuff that I write into audio encyclopedias. 
And so there's me thinking about multitasking. So I'm multitasking while I'm talking about multitasking. I'm stretching while I'm talking. You see what I'm saying? So some people do videos while they're driving while they're talking, and I think that's dangerous. You can drive over somebody's dog or something. Help me help you. This is just me offering to give uh, Bashar video, uh, videos to people. But that was before I knew he had his own website, so I don't know if he would want that because I think maybe he might sell one. But bosses should let your workers listen to B3 while they work so they can educate themselves what they work. There's probably some places where we're like, oh no, you're not allowed to listen to the MP3 player. Oh, that's bullshit. You should be able to allow to listen to your MP3 player, dude, while you work. It's education. We have to we have to um, support education. So yeah, listen to Natural Reader. So that's my audio encyclopedia site.